Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and a very good evening to all of you so let's start today's lesson so we are on uh, we are studying the book learning how to learn and we are on the page 285 chapter 12 making brain links a puzzle is a good metaphor for the way we piece together concepts because each puzzle piece is like a set of brain links Practicing with that set of brain links brings out the color on the puzzle piece. When we put together enough puzzle pieces, we have become an expert. Number two, interleaving is like randomly shuffling a deck of cards. Shuffling the deck means any card can move your way. If you, if you, if you practice a subject by interleaving, you will be prepared for anything that comes your way. This helps you be, be better prepared for the uh, unexpected questions on tests. Lazy learning is when you practice only what comes easy for you and uh, or what you have already learned. Superman would would say, "I am never going. Uh, I am never going to be able to take any mighty leaps with my learning." The special advice to help with studying math, science, and other abs abstract subject is this: first, find a problem, then work that problem yourself enough times that it flows like a song through your mind. Chapter thirteen. Asking yourself important questions. Number one, loud music with words is likely to be a distraction in your studies. But some people find that quiet music, uh, quiet music without words can help. Uh, different people like different kinds of music when they are studying and some people don't like music at all. It depends on you. Your attentional octopus can become confused if you usually study in one place but then take a test in another place. If you are able to study in different places, you, can, you, you get used to latching onto your brain links wherever you are. If you think you learn uh, only by listening, auditory, you, you can end up avoiding other means of learning such as visual, visualizing. This can cause your overall learning to suffer. Uh, the, real, the reality is everybody learns uh, best by using as, as many of their senses as they can. Uh, number four, you can see an equation. You can read the equation out loud. This way you can hear it and also feel the sounds as you make them in your mouth. Uh, try extending your hands out of each side of you and imagining that one side of the equation is on one hand and the other side of the equation on, on the other. How does it feel? Is that equation balanced? See if you can imagine physical meaning for the mathematical symbols. For example, sometimes a multiplication, a multiplication sign is like pushing. So if you if you, if you multiply by a bigger number, you are pushing harder. When you go to sleep, your brain links, your brain cells shrink. This allows uh, cerebral fluids to uh, to wash away toxins in the brain. Eat your frogs first means trying to do the most difficult things first. This gives you the time to switch to other subject temporarily uh, if you get stuck and need a creative boost from the diffuse mood. Plan on a firm quitting time for your studying. This will help you to concentrate more effectively when you are studying. Chapter 14. Learning Surprises Action and special video games help improve your thinking. Action video games help improve your ability to focus and your vision. Special video games improve your ability to rotate objects in your mind's eye. The bad aspect of, of video games is that they can be addic addictive, so they should be used in moderation. Number three, the basic idea of not of, no of note taking is to pick out key points from what you have heard so that you can review and strengthen brain links. The best way to do this is to write by hand. Divide a sheet of paper into two parts so you can take initial notes on one side and later make briefer notes on the other as you review and actively recall key points. Rut think means that you, your mind gets so used to running along certain mental pathway that it becomes stuck in a rut. You become less flexible in your thinking. To be more creative and get better at something you are passionate about, you should spend a little time doing something very different. This helps keep you mentally flexible and more creative. Using metaphor, you can bring ideas from one subject to another subject, even if the subjects are very different. Transfer. Uh, is the ability to take an idea you have learned in one subject and use it to help you uh, to help you learn another subject metaphors can help with uh, with this process a poor working memory means that you don't have as many arms on your attentional octopus octopus so it's hard to hold complicated ideas in mind you have to link some of the ideas in order to work with them but the process of linking simplifies what you, what you know 
Uh, this can allows you. Uh, this can allow you to see simple and elegant insights and solution that others can miss. Also, some thoughts easily slip out of the arms of your attentional octopus. But when some thoughts slip away, others slip in. This helps you to be more creative. Do you have to work harder than other people to learn and link information? Yes, but it's a great trade-off. Number eight. Many skills and subjects can be learned well. Uh, well, whether you learn them quickly or slowly, for example, it may take you longer to learn to ride a bicycle than another person, but you can still learn to ride a bicycle well. It may take you longer to learn multiply, but you can still do multiplication. Uh, you may have to study twice as long or to memorize the parts of the plant, but you can still memorize the parts of the plant. Chapter 15. How to do well on tests. The most important step before a test is to make sure you get a good night's sleep. In the hard start technique, you should, uh, you, should, uh, you should leave a difficult problem when you are stuck and begin to grow frustrated. When you feel panic rising before a test, practice deep breathing from, uh, from the belly. Also, shift your thinking from this test has made me afraid to this test has got me excited to do my best. To catch wrong answers on a test, blink shift your attention and then double check your answer using a big picture perspective. Ask yourself, does this really make sense? Try to review the problems in a different order uh, from when you first completed them. Suggested resources. Here are some worthwhile resources that can give you new perspective on many of the topics we have covered in this book. Web resources, Khan Academy, this is a uh, terrific resource right so the more active practice you do after watching uh, after watching each video the better so this is Khan Academy S smart trick this program this program provides a solid foundation in mathematics built on uh, sound practice if you are struggling with mathematics is a great resource if you are doing well in math this resource will help you do even better smart trick method Brain HQ, one of the few cognitive uh, improvement program that has good science to back up their claims, particularly good for uh, aging adults to help improve their concentration and focus. If your grandpa and gra grandma and grandpa is complaining that they aren't sh as sharp uh, as they used to do used to be, the programs is, the program is for them. Frontiers for Young Minds, Science for Kids, edited by Kids, and an open, uh, open access scientific journal written by scientists and reviewed by a board of kids and teens. Uh, okay, the Queensland Brain Institute. This institute has excellent features, podcast, and a magazine. Uh, Brainfacts.organization, an excellent website with all sorts of information, uh, with, with all sorts of information about how your brain works. HTTP brain facts. The nervous system crash course. Uh, so this is funny as well as informative. Number five, memory tips to get you started by Nelson Dellis. Four time US memory champion Nelson Dellis has a wonderful series of memory tip video. This is a good one to help you get started. See also Nelson's book, Remember It, on top, on page number 219. Okay, learning how to learn powerful mental tools to help you master tough subjects. A massive open online course by Barbara o Barb Oakley and Terence Sanjowski th uh, through University of California, San Diego. So, yes. Mind shift breakthrough obstacles to learning and discover your hidden potential. A massive open online course by Barb Oakley and Terence Sanjowski through University of Cal California. Okay, books for young adults about the brain. My first book about the brain by Patricia J. Wine and Donald M. Silver. Uh, this award-winning co coloring book is so informative that it is used in some regular classes, suitable for age 8 to 12, but grown-ups also seem to enjoy the, the relaxing process of coloring while they learn. Right? Book for young adults about the brain. Right, the brain. Uh, all about our nervous system and more by uh, Seymour Simon pages uh, taken with radiological scanner discussions of long and short term memory neurons dendrites and more what goes on my mind by Robert Winston by Robert Winston uh, colorful book that a colorful book that helps you wrap your head around how the brain work 
top neuroscience-based programs for people with learning disabilities, including struggling readers and people uh, with dyslexia, auditory processing disorder, autism spectrum, spectrum disorder, and more general learning disabilities. Uh, in particular, they are fast for uh, they are fast forward and reading assistance software. Neuroscience-based program for English la uh, language learners. Uh, in particular, they are reading assistance software. There are many programs and centers around the world. Books for adults about adults about learning. The art of changing the brain. Enriching the practice of technique by exploring the biology of learning by James. And yeah, the art of learning an inner journey to optimal performance by Josh Wedzikin, Deep Work, okay? Rules for Focus, Success in a Distracted World. And I Am Gifted, So Are You, by Adam Koo, all right? So, Make It Stick, The Science of Successful Learning, by Peter. A Mind for Numbers, How to, how to Successful in Math and Science. Mind Shift, Breakthrough Obstacles to Learning and Discover Your Hidden Potential, by Barbara Oakley. Peak, Secrets from the New Science of Expertise by Anders Erickson and Robert Poole. Remember it, the name of people you meet, all your password, where you left your keys and everything else you tend to forget by Nelson Dellis. Okay, so illustration credits, these are right. And then what is there? Acknowledgement, we would like to thank John. Okay, so this is acknowledgement. This is, these are references. These are notes. Congratulations for visiting here in the ed, end of the book. This is the first end note. Most of these end notes are for more mature, mature readers. Okay. However, so these are the, you know, these are the uh, answers of the questions, right? This is the index. And I think the book is completed right about the author and illustrator okay again what else we do have okay i think the book is complete right so yes Okay, Alhamdulillah. So this book is completed. Inshallah, from next week we will we will read another book. Inshallah. Okay. Till then, uh, be happy and Jazakumullah khair. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.